Patriot in the championship matchup here at 120. It's Nate Schielick, uh defeated the four seed, Devin Easton, 13 3, major decision in the semis, while Mark Emerling Jr., a 10 3 decision in the semis against Ethan Gray of John Marshall to advance to this championship matchup. So uh, Nate Schielick versus Mark Emerling Jr. A pair of sophomores going head to head as Sheelick and Emerling on your Smitty's floors. Championship matchup. The one versus the number two seed. Two sophomores. And two sophomores going head to head. And Nate Sheelick last year was your state champion. At 120 pounds in West Virginia. Emerling, meanwhile, finished fifth in the OVC at 113 last year, a state qualifier, ranked sixth right now in Ohio Division II, 19 and 7 on the season. Of course, uh, his dad knows a little bit about winning OVAC championships. Yes, his dad was a, a former teammate of mine. Uh, and a former assistant coach of mine and uh you know he's a four-time ovac champ he was the second one bobby douglas was the first and uh you know mark mark was a great 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 wrestler he's, he's probably even a better coach and uh we'll see some similarities with his son uh, you know they'll probably be doing some bars and stuff but uh it's a good matchup you got the you know the sophomores one's the state champ so a couple sophomores going head to head and this will be the first of the Sheelick brothers to wrestle tonight in the championship round. We got Andrew coming up as well. Yeah, he's got it, you know. Emerling's got his head under. The Sheelick's going for a cradle. You know, Sheelick seems to be very strong. He's looking for a cradle. Emerling's underneath. Uh, he's locking it up. Hmm. Sheelick looks two with that Dude. near side cradle. You know, after they're trying that dump, he's got the near side. He's got it pretty tight. Emerling, he's good. Out three, he's got to get long. There we go. So we got three back points. Five. Five. Uh, no, I, what did he give him? Yep. I don't, I don't think he's gave an escape yet. So it's still five to zero. Yeah, five nothing still. Now we got should have one here. Sheila strikes first here. He must have already gave one. So there, yeah, it's five one. Yeah, five one. Yes. Okay, Sheely come out and got that, you know, uh, the Emerling likes to do dumps, and uh, Sheely was ready for it. Now he just took a nice shot. You know, it's just some scrambling going on. Uh, it's five to one. Emerling needs to score here. Sheely's in. This new, like I said, this, this style here is really hard to keep track of but is that near side cradle again he's got two that makes it seven to one adds to the lead uh, really physical here and they're out of bounds here so seven one in the first period she looks doing a really good job he's hit two front headlocks and went right to the near side cradle he's real physical 25 seconds to go on the clock First period, Nate Sheelick in front. A lot, lot of action. Emily's looking for some kind of, you know, big move here, and he's got another escape, so it makes it seven to two. Seven Six seconds. seconds. Mark wanted two there. Yeah. Don't get it. It's seven to two as we seven end the two. second period. Nate Sheelick in front of Mark Emerling Jr. There's a look in your West Liberty University yeah, replay. So just that near side cradle. He hit it twice, you know, a front headlock. He's doing a great job countering the dump. Uh, you know, Emerling's 7-2, down by five. He took down. There's a lot of action in this match. She looked... Emerling's working hand control. She's working, you know, the river spiral ride here. Emerling's coming up to his feet, kind of stepping around there.
138. And there's a reversal now. We got seven, seven to four. four. Yes. Yeah, no, no. Emmerling, if he's like his father, he'll be pretty tough on top. Uh, but again, I think that Chilik was was um, you know prepared. He'd stop that dump, but now he's got his you know he's got to counter that cradle mm. off, oh. and it's in that cradle. So this is going to make it. It's going to tie this match up or end it. Yeah. So I mean, both of these young men, it's going to have to fight it. Um, it could be. He looks. It's over. Oh my. Mark Everling Jr. Wow. Was down seven to one. Yeah, I mean. Uh, now seven four, and then he gets the fall. Yeah, I know Beaver's not having the tournament they would like to have, but uh, you know that was that's the, that's what you know that they got the wrestlers to do that, and uh, you know this is he just you know he got the cradle. Um, both guys got each other on their back. Uh, you know, Emerling uh, did the job pin, but uh, those two guys will, will probably wrestle again sometime. But uh, yeah, that was a, that was a fun match. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. They've all been fun so far. We got a lot yes. more fun to come. We're going to take a timeout. Right. More wrestling on the way here inside West Bank Arena. Get back to the podium now as we uh, check out the place winner, that 120 pounds. Josh Denoble of St. Clairsville finishing in eighth. He's a junior at 14 and five on the season. Eric Reed of Cambridge in seventh. He's 17 and nine. Timmy Cargill of University finishing sixth. Fifth place, Clayton Lamb of Oak Glen. Ethan Gray, John Marshall Sr. He is your fourth place finisher. Finishing in third, Parkersburg South's Devin Easton. Runner up at 120 pounds. William Parks, Nate Schielick, sophomore. And your winner at 120 pounds. Beaver Local standing atop the podium, Mark Emerling Jr. What a match that was as he was losing and he came up with the huge pin in the second period to pick up the OVAC championship. Checking back in with Julianne Pelusi. Mark Emerling with me here from Beaver Local. And Mark, you trailed that match throughout in the second period. You were able to come up with a pin. Uh, what turned the tides for you? Uh, I just, I was nervous in the first period, so I just calmed down and got it done. To be able to get this win and help your team out, why is that so important for you? Because I have a great team and great coaches, and I just wanted to do it for them. Now, to be able to win an OVAC title as just a sophomore, what does that say for you as a sign for your future in high school wrestling? Well, I want to get three OVAC titles, so see if I can do that. All right, congratulations. Thank Rob. Thank you very much.